welcome to Daily Books. Today we'll be sharing with you a story titled The Only Lonely Panda by Johnny Lambrook. Are you ready? Let's get started. The Only Lonely Panda Deep in the dewy forest where flamingos danced and butterflies fluttered, Panda sat alone. I wish I had a friend, he sighed. Then Panda saw her. Wowie! Look! Maybe she will be my friend. But Panda didn't know how to make friends. I wonder what the other animals do, he thought. Graceful flamingos make friends by dancing together. That's it, Panda exclaimed. I will dance like a fluffy flamingo. Then the panda will be my friend. How could that possibly go wrong? Oof. Panda picked itself up and watched playful Sifakas Make friends by bouncing and pogoing together. Brilliant! Panda cried. I will bounce instead, like a springy sifaka. Then the panda will definitely be my friend. Whoopee! Watch me fly! Panda spotted two blue-footed boobies. Aha! he said. I will stomp and strut like a booby. Then we will be friends. Now, where did she go? But Panda hadn't looked very far before. He spotted a handsome peacock. Feathers! Panda whooped. If I had a dazzling tail, she will surely be my friend. All I need is one or two. Yikes! Sorry! Phew! Panda puffed. Who needs fancy feathers anyway? Panda picked up some bamboo and waggled his bottom. This tail waggle will surely succeed. Here we go! Panda sighed. She will never, ever be my friend. And he plodded off to get his dinner. Deep in the dewy forest, where Sifakas bounced and peacocks pranced, Panda sat eating alone. But not for long. Oh, hello, said the other panda. That looks yummy. It's scrummy, nodded Panda. And then he had his best idea yet. Would you like to share? And so they did. Among the lush leaves, two pandas ate and played together and became the best of friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye!